Welcome. Thank you so much for logging in today to learn about JobNow and the Westchester County System resources tonight. As I was saying, it would be fantastic if you could let me know um, what county you're zooming in from, uh, just so we know kind of the breakdown for fun. So my name is Amy Shapiro. I'm the head of the Learning Lab at Mayapac Library. Um, and just a few quick notes before we begin. As we go through the presentation, feel free to ask questions in the chat. And Emily Wierzbowski is going to be my partner in crime tonight. So she'll be handling any questions that come up during the presentation. So uh, we'll be having two sections, as I said. So there will be a break between the sections for questions. And so if there's something that's just like completely confusing, she's just gonna bust in and ask. Um, so otherwise, um, she'll just hold them till the end of each section. So we'll get started. So my plan for tonight is to talk about the job search tools that WLS, so Westchester Library System, I just can't say that too many times or I'm going to get tongue tied, um, offers and also discuss the job now service that's available in Putnam County Libraries. So I do plan to cover a lot of information this evening. We are recording this event and we will post it as soon as we can. So um, you can always contact me or your local library and we'd be happy to work with you on these resources. So we're gonna talk about part one is the Westchester County Library System. And then part two is the JobNow resource. So let's get started with our Westchester Library System job search tools. So your first step is to go to the address bar of any browser and some examples of a browser are Safari, Safari, Firefox, and Chrome. In the address area, you'll type westchesterlibraries.org with no spaces and press enter or return. And then you'll click on jobs and careers. And this is where we're going to find the resources for Westchester Library System members. So here's my official disclaimer about teaching WLS resources. I'll be taking you through these as well as I can, but for obvious reasons, I am much more familiar with Putnam County resources. If you're interested in one of these services and have extensive questions, um, you will be better off speaking with the staff at Westchester Libraries. In addition to having more answers, the staff might be able to steer you to local events that may be helpful that I don't know about. So um, on the right hand side, you'll notice that there's a little like icon translation on that you might see on some of the resources. And I'm just going to zoom in on that. So the icon we're going to talk about is the icon for resources that require library cards. So you'll have to enter your Westchester library card and pin. And if you're not sure how, please check with the lovely people that work in your local library about how to get a card or about setting or resetting a pin. So none of the resources we're going to be looking at today require it. So you can look at it from home. Any library system can look at it. It is good to know that if you see those, you may need information for other resources. So this first link is to the Career and Education Counseling Service Program uh, webs and that page is actually not current, so I'm not going to go to it. I'm just, the phone number is listed there, and that will connect you with a facilitator. And I'm going to just give you some information. I did speak with one of the wonderful facilitators, and she may actually be logging in to answer any, like, extra questions about this, if she can. Um, so currently, they're running a virtual career seminar entitled Managing Your Career and Changing Times. And this seminar provides career strategies for individuals to build self-awareness and clarify direction, explore career alternatives, and learn about latest job search trends. Now that seminator, that's, that seminar, yes, that was my first one. <laughs> that seminar is facilitated by a professional career coach and the six week virtual seminar we meets once a week for 90 minutes and it concludes with an individual career counseling session. 
The next seminar offering is the week of is starting the week of April 26th. And while the seminars are open to Putnam County res residents, Westchester residents receive priority registration. A flyer will be made available with a registration link in mid-March. So I'd check in with someone at that number to get more information about that in around mid-March. I'm here, Amy, if anyone has any oh, questions on the program. <laughs> excellent. And I see, I see what you look like now. <laughs> so, so Marie Riffle is, is joining us. So if there are any questions about the program, um, she'll be able to kind of head that up. So, um, so we're moving on this next link for current job postings will bring you only to job jobs that have been sent to the Westchester library system. So it's only going to be jobs in libraries, not necessarily for librarians, but for library staff members. So I'd encourage you to take a look at the page to see if there's anything of interest to you, but the link will not take you to Indeed or anything like that. It's just gonna be like a few listings. And then the next link, look for a job, will take you to first find. And that's a service provided by the Westchester Library System as a support to adults seeking guidance on specific learning goals. And the next few slides are gonna go through that service. So this is the first find page and it runs through all the steps of the job search process from career evaluation to resume writing to interviewing. And it's in that order. And there are shortcuts to each piece of that on the sidebar, which is white. And then all of the links are on this page. So I kind of broke it down so we could see it. So it's not in the straight line, but it's really hard to see. So I really recommend going and looking at all of these resources. But the page is split into three sections and I do love the way it's set up. So we're gonna look at the breakdown. So the first one is get started. So this is where you can do some thinking about your skills, training and personality type to learn about jobs that might be a good fit. So even if you're already in a profession and you're looking for a job now, especially now that the pandemic has really changed the landscape, learning about other jobs or careers might be that might be a good fit is a great idea. And now the next step is getting going. And that's for when you found the career or job you want, this section will go over using job posting sites like Indeed and networking sites like LinkedIn. This is also where you're going to find assistance in resume and or cover letter writing. And then keep it going is all, keep going, is all about the interview process. So I wanted to draw your attention to the options on the bottom of the get going page. So uh, you can link to tutor.com from here and have a qualified person review and help you create a resume and cover letter. So you'd click on the link and you'd fill out the information that I put into the right-hand side of the page. And then you'll be connected with someone to, to talk about these things. And then on the next little link on the bottom, it you can connect with a job search coach. And then there's the information that I've arrowed, arrowed to right there. So um, you can make an appointment and so again, this information will be available. We are recording it. So I don't go too crazy about writing stuff down if you don't have something to write with. And then lastly, on the Westchester Library System page, this link brings you to the Learning Express Learning Center for Careers. So we're gonna go through that a little bit as well. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so this link lands on the career page of Learning Express and it has links for exam prep for many different specialties. You'll notice that there are arrows on each of these headings. So when you click on them, they'll open up to show more content. So when the arrows are clicked, they open and show the exam preparations that are in that subject area. You also can hover over the centers menu and you'll get continuing education op options for adults. 
So that's that's the end of the Westchester resources section. Um, I hope that that's been helpful. Um, I'll remind you again, I've done my very best to pass on all the information I could find, but I will recommend that if you'd like to learn more, your local library will be able to help you find out more about these services. And again, I'm sure there's stuff that is locally known about that I don't know about. So please check in with your local library as well. And if you take a look at the page I have, find your local library is a link that you can click on and find out where your local library is. So now I have my palette, my palette, palette cleanser doggy with the kittens. And um, let's talk about any questions that you might have. Again, I do have Marie with us about the webs program and she may also be, um, I will put her totally on the spot. She also may be helpful about other resources in the Westchester system. I don't know for sure though. So, and I totally didn't warn her I'd say that. So, <laughs> so any questions, Emily? Um, well, so far there's a question about um, the name of the program that begins in April. Okay. So that is uh, managing your career in changing times, right, Marie? Right, managing your career in changing times. I, I remembered. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about the plan for that? Yeah, so uh, we're currently in a program right now, the winter session, and the next one will be in the spring, um, the end of April. We'll be putting out the flyer the week of March 15th for registration. It will be posted on the Westchester Library um, System uh, homepage, and we send it out to all the various libraries in Westchester as well. I'll be sending it to um, Amy to post uh, in, I guess, Putnam as well. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a great program. There's no fee for it. And it covers three different components. The first one is around self-assessment. And there's a number of different self-assessment exercises to help you with your uh, identifying your interests, your skills, your values uh, in personality, and then it, the second component is exploring options based on those results. And we have a number of online resource resources uh, that can help you with exploring some of your ideas around careers. And then also uh, we talk about networking and LinkedIn as a way to build contacts and get information and um, lead to job uh, possibilities. And the final piece is around job search, which is resume writing, uh, also cover letters, and we go into LinkedIn as well. And then finally interviewing, and we talk about virtual interviewing tips and which is so important these days and all the different types of um, automated video interviewing that's taking place in the workplace now. So if you're interested, uh, you know, you can reach out to um, Amy or any of the Westchester libraries or the homepage for the flyer. Awesome. Thank you so much, Marie. And I'm just going to pop back up in like really old fashioned style through my Prezi presentation, just to get that webs number again for anybody that didn't grab it the first time. Um, and were there any other questions, Emily? No, there was one about if um, Putnam residents could register, but you guys answered that with your last explanation. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> awesome. So, and, and here I am just lazily going through my slides again. I could go through the slide sorter, but I am tired. So, um, so the next step is um, Job Now, which is accessible with no card required in Putnam County libraries and remotely for Putnam County library card holders. The two closest libraries to Westchester are, I believe, Putnam Valley and Mampac Library. Both of these libraries are open with limited capacity. Um, I have both of the websites listed. 
Um, so you can call or con or check the websites for information about hours and and any other things that you may need to know COVID related or not. <laughs> so um, now we're going to see how to get there. And we're going to go through the giant chunk of information that is job now. So what is it and how do we get there? So it's provided through your count, your Putnam County libraries, as I said, it has curated information and links out to reputable sites about jobs and career assessments and all that other fun stuff. It gives you access to a professional who can help you live with career skills, resumes and interviews. And apparently my pop-ups are gonna go at glacial speed. So I apologize for that. If you're a Putnam County card holder or you're at a Putnam County library, your first step is to go to the address bar of any browser. And again, there are some examples of a browser, Safari, Firefox, and Chrome. There are way more than that, but those are the biggies. Um, and just, just as a reference, this is the Putnam County Libraries um, information that we're going to be talking about is from the Mid Hudson site. So that's Mid Hudson Library System is the seven county spread that makes up our system. So it will it will limit out Putnam County. Also, I have no doubt you will find links on the Putnam County Library sites themselves. But um, for ease of our lives, I didn't want to see where that was in every one of our Putnam County libraries. So this is the easiest way to do it. So um, at the Mid-Hudson Library System page, you'll hover over for the public and it's going to display this black and gray menu and then it will light up um, as you hover over them. And so you're going to select e-resources and that's home access stuff. And we're going to click on Putnam County. You're going to click on job and career help from that menu. And now we're here at that job now link. At the bottom of the, the description, you will see that there's a, a link to an, a video tutorial. And while this presentation is being recorded, that one is five minutes and it might be all the refresher you need. And um, because I will be like trying to go into each one of these places so that you can see what they look like. I can't get really in depth, obviously, because we don't have just scads of time. So if you're not in a library you will, or a library computer, you will have to log in. And so you don't need a library card, as I said, if you're using a Putnam County library computer, if you're at the library. And so you'll enter in your barcode with no spaces. The forgot your pin link on the bottom will take you to an area to input your barcode and have a password reset link sent to your email. However, if there's no email address for you in the library database, that function won't work. And if you're having any trouble at all, your local library will be happy to assist you in this. So now we're going to take a look inside job now. Okay, so it's a lot of information that smacks you in the face all at once. So we're going to be breaking this out a little bit. Um, so I recommend that you look at this page in the same order as the first search order is their information. So that's career, resume, and lastly, interviews. So you can log in and you can register. Registration is optional. It's free and it's very quick and it allows you to use all of the services. Some of the services you will not be able to access unless you make a, an account. And we'll, we'll go through that in a minute. So we're gonna click sign up and then you're gonna fill out all the information requested here and then you're gonna click next. Now. You may notice that you are not asked for an email address, which is really fun if you don't remember your username. 
So I'm going to show you how you can add your email address at the end of this part. So I've just filled out my information in SuperSpeed and I'll hit next and I'm in. So I do want to add that email address too. So I'm going to hit the blue drop down with my username and I'm going to click on my account and then I'm going to click edit. And then I get to a chance to fill in my user information a little bit more. So now I'm gonna go back to that main page, <clears throat> excuse me. And as I said, I'm gonna break these out piece by piece. Um, and the job search bar on the top probably looks pretty familiar to people who have used something like indeed.com or monster.com. So I'm just entering a position title or something relatively close to it. In the next box, I can put a city, state, or zip code, and then I'll click on search or press return or enter. And then I do get my results and they are brought to me by Indeed, which I can see on the left on the top. And so I'm gonna leave my job search here and go back to our job, search, our job now homepage. So again, if you have any questions, and this goes for everything, if you have any questions about how to do this, please give me a call, email me. I'll be happy to go through it with you. Email or call your local library. And you know, I'm sure that they'll be able to assist you with that as well. So now we're back on the home page. And if you click on home, that brings you to this page. The next three menu buttons, whoops. The next three menu buttons just offer a drop down menu offering the same options that are on this page. So we're going to skip those three for now. And then we're going to take a quick look at the adult learners menu button. So this is the adult learning center and you'll see you've got some links to continuing education resources where you can receive live one on one academic coaching practice tests and online built skill built skill building resources. There, got it. So um, now we're going to go back to that main page and we're going to look at the career section. And there's each of these things has a bunch of information, careers and resumes are the two big meaty ones. So bear with me. So, um, Oops, sorry. So we're gonna look at the live job coach. Now this is not available 24 seven. It's available um, between two and 11 Eastern standard time. So if you try outside these hours, you're just gonna get a message with their hours. So all job now assistance is done in the BrainFuse classroom. So like all of these live coach things for resume, career and interview are going to look exactly the same. So I'm gonna go through this in very brief method, just so you're more confident trying out the services and then somebody, the, the assistant will, will help you the rest of the way. So these are the super basics and it's gonna be enough to get you talking to someone in the room and then they'll be able to help you further once you're in. So the page is split between the whiteboard and the text area. The whiteboard's most important controls are towards the left-hand side of that strip on the bottom. So uh, you have a pencil and you can draw or write by hand. You can erase the stuff that you've drawn or written by hand with the pencil, with the eraser. And the T, which will probably be the most important tool for people using the classroom for job now. And on the text side, you'll be able to write back and forth with the person assisting you. And you'll also be able to upload files that your helper can view. So if you're working on the resume, you'll upload your resume with that file sharing, and then you can actually share it into the whiteboard and you and your, your helper can actually write on that. And you will get, you will get a, um, an email of the transcript if you wish. At the end, it will ask you when you close out your discussion if you would like that email to you. And now this is my favorite thing. So this is on the career section of JobNow's main page. 
And I know a lot of people are having trouble figuring out the intricacies of unemployment benefits. So this one is a fantastic tool to take advantage of. You can speak live with an expert to help you figure out your next steps over here. And you click the live help button. Unemployment assistance is accessible Monday through Thursday from three to nine Eastern Standard. The tutoring schedule, if you click on it, will pop this up. So no need to really write this down. And now we're gonna take a quick look at the online resources link. So this brings you to the learning library or skill surfer. And you may recall for the WLS Learning Express page that there's a very similar area. So each of these buttons opens up to show lessons under the subject listing the same way. And whoops. Oh yeah, no, I was in the right place. Sorry about that. <laughs> Next on the career list are career assessment tools. And these links will help you learn about your own skills and interests and what careers might be a good fit for you. And these do, again, link out to other pages that are verified by JobNow. Online resources are split for nationwide and, job, and local job search resources. So we're gonna start with nationwide. And this is split into three lists. They're all on one page, so I had to break it up. So the first one is general job sites. So you've probably seen many or all of these before, but it's great to have them all in one place. The next one is jobs for students and recent graduates, which um, many people might not be familiar with. So it's a great tool to, to find out more places that you can look for positions. And then the last is job sites for veterans. All but one of these sites are specifically targeted to veterans, but at the bottom, you'll notice that there's a link for ZipRecruiter for veterans. The ZipRecruiter has made it easier for companies that are looking to hire veterans by making vet status a way for companies to narrow down their searches. So I found that super cool. And I've brought us back to that online resource page so that we'll take a look at the local resources. And I fit all of them on one page. So these resources are limited to links that are mostly just in the Hudson Valley area. Some of them are New York State in general, but most of them are limited down fairly, fairly well to our area. The skill server link, surfer link probably looks familiar as we were right there before in the unemployment assistance page resources button. And um, again, it's super helpful to kind of you know, find all of these job preps. It is not nearly the only place that you can do that within Putnam County Libraries, but it is wonderful to have them all in one place over here. And then we have e-parachute. So that's um, what color is your parachute, that book that came out. Um, and I probably got the title wrong because I didn't write it down. So I'm sorry about that. So this is the same company and it's contracted with JobNow with BrainFuse to offer these assessment tools. So this is another way to learn more about your skills and interests in order to find out possible careers or college majors. And this is, this is one of the ones that you need an account for. So we went over that earlier, it's super easy. So I'm just signing in and I couldn't show you the breakdown because uh, it was gonna take like 10 slides. So you're welcome. And so we're going to just talk about their method. So it's a more in-depth interest and skills sorter than the one we looked at earlier. So let's just look at how that works. So you'll choose the people, fields, and interests, features, people, fields, and skills that interest you. I got there. Uh, then you prioritize these things by ranking them against one another. Um, so I, I went through this whole thing. So the first thing you know, it, it said like, who are the kinds of people you want to hang out with at a party? <laughs> um, and so, you know, I wanted to talk to the people that, that like to think about things and, you know, and create. And so it gave me that kind of personality profile and then fields. So, you know, it gives you not like, you know, mechanic, 
Like it gives you, it gives you things that you might enjoy doing and you select and skills again. So, you know, and then you rank them against each other. So would I rather create something or entertain someone or do something with computers? And then I have to choose. And some of them are really hard. I was, I was having a lot of trouble. I was like, can we tie? Um, and you're also able to search for other careers. Um, oh, whoops, I missed a line in my notes. Sorry about that. Um, so once you complete all of those assessments, you're given information about the careers that are good fit for you, as well as these profiles. And then once you have that, it's going to give you like the careers have rankings. So like um, I was, I apparently am, would be a fantastic nurse informatics person, which good to know. Um, so, and it ranks them like in terms of the most like you or the least like you in that list. And then you can also um, select different balances of your strengths and interests. So you can search for others, other careers that also would work with you, just different aspects of your personality. And now we're gonna take a look at the resume section. So resume section looks a lot like the career section. They all go in the same format, which, you know, if it's going to slam you upside the head with all of this information, at least it's in a, an order. So, <laughs> so the first thing, again, is the live resume expert. And again, available 2 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard. And you would be using the Brain Fuse Classroom with that too, which I did not break out this time. And then the resume templates and the resume resources both have um, the same stuff. So I just compiled them on one page. Again, you're welcome. So we could look, some of these are internal and then the resources. So the templates, you'll just directly download. They'll just go straight to your computer. You can open them up in Word or any other um, word processing tool. And then the resume resources will take you out to other websites. Um, I just combined all of them. Special attention is paid in these resources to military personnel, which I love. Um, I especially like the sound of the military skills translator. I think that's super, super great for people that are coming out of the military because nothing's really called the same thing. So please pass this on to any veterans you know. It's a fantastic resource. And the next two options on the resume field do require a login. So I just showed you my login page again. So the first one is the resume lab. And with this, you can upload a resume or a cover letter and you'll receive feedback within one business day. The feedback will be sent to the message center, which is in the information under your profile on that first page, just as a reminder, this is what that looks like. So I just clicked on my ID, and then it brings down that whole menu with my account, past sessions, all that stuff. And my message center is where that feedback will come into. And now this is the last tool on the resume section and it's called Optimal Resume. And it's really cool. So um, this is gonna take, uh, I'm just going to explain a lot of these resources because it offers some really fantastic, unique things. So with no further delay, um, the video tutorials are on all sorts of subjects pertaining to researching companies, finding jobs, resume writing, and interviewing. The video tutorials are on all sorts of the Sorry, I just said that. The resume builder will allow you to start a resume from scratch or work with a template. It has ONET, which is a career and interest profiler built in so you can tailor your resumes to specific positions. The letter builder works in a similar way as the resume builder and has formatting options to choose from. And both the resume and letter builder have spelling and grammar checks built in any of the changes that you make in real time on that preview um, will show up. 
So the way it works is you kind of have these sections and for anybody that's done one of those resume wizards online or used any of the library's resume builder things, you know, there are these sections and you fill out the sections and then it pushes them all together to make your resume. So um, that's how that works. It's really nice. It has, you know, and it also will give you keywords that will be suggested for the type of job you are looking for, which is fantastic. And once you do these, you can download them or share them online. The portfolio builder, which is super cool, helps you create an online gallery of your work that can be displayed as a page on your optimal resume website, shared as a link or downloaded as a zip file. So the online portfolios document, document your education, work samples, and skills. They're really useful to applying for jobs and training programs to demonstrate your transferable skills and track your professional development. The interview prep lets you practice answering 12,000 plus interview questions. Um, and they're are organized by occupation and type. So you can learn how to respond by watching videos and interview question coaching. So literally you'll have, like you'll open it up and it will, you know, the question will be there. You'll click on the video and it will be someone saying like, tell me a little bit about yourself. And then you can practice answering that to that video. And then you get some, information on how to make those answers better, what they're looking for with those questions, which is fantastic. And you can create your own custom interview questions and interviews. So like if you know, like they have just just at random, I was searching through, there was there were interviews for like dental hygienists and stuff like that. So it's a you know specific stuff, but if you're not finding exactly what you want, you can build your own resume practice, your own interview practice. And the website build, builder will also let you create a simple website. And it's a lot like that online portfolio, but it also has options to include social networking sites, uh, social networking profiles, and an option to index the site with major search engines to increase the odds of searches finding your site. So what that means is, I don't know if anybody has heard of search engine optimization or anything like that. So basically you will tell the, the search engines like, hey, this site is here. So if they're searching for Amy Shapiro, they're more likely to get my website than just like random things with, with Amy Shapiro who wrote a book a million years ago, which is what you get when you search my name. So <laughs> the website, and so that's, that's basically that the offerings they have. And now we're going to just take a look at how to find them because this is literally the first page. So you can click get started. And then it will ask you to add or confirm all of your name and contact info. And that gets thrown into any of your profile, like that profile gets added into any of your documents. Um, so that you're not typing that over and over again. So, you know, my information is going to pop up if I hit a resume. It's going to be like, okay, this is the information. You don't have to type it in again. So let's see what this looks like. So we have some videos up at the top, and then we have our options for resumes, letters, as you can see. I do have the option to make more than one, which is fantastic. And then on the bottom side of the page there, it's all on one scrollable page. I just couldn't fit it all in a reasonable amount of space on my slide. And so then you have your, for, your portfolios, interviews, websites, and then that interviews is where you're gonna find that database of interview questions and interview coaching. And then more video tutorials on the bottom. Okay. So we're on our last part. It's only a few slides. So we're doing great here. So we have our live interview coach. Anybody that wants to sing along can. 
They're two to, two to 11 p.m. for this, and the meetings take place using BrainFuse Classroom. And then the next two, like I told you, this would be quick. It's awesome. So <laughs> the next two are online resources and interview tips. So the interview tips are in JobNow, and then the um, online resources are linked out to other places. Now, you might notice this is kind of a repeat of other things that you can access using other parts of job now, but it is really helpful depending on what you're interested in. It's a good place to, to start if you're not like you're not into the whole optimal optimal resume like day and a half to figure out this is a good place to start. And we're done with that section and we were in two sections and now I have a lot of time for questions. So um, how are we doing, Emily? Um, so there was some discussion about where and how you can use this. Um, we discussed it in the chat, but maybe just go over <laughs> how to use it or where we can use it if you're not a Putnam County card holder. Awesome, yeah. So any Putnam County library that is open to the public um, and again, Putnam Valley and uh, Mayapack are both open for limited, limited uh, attendance, but I don't, you know, nobody's lining up at the door, I don't think we, you know, you, you can, you can like find out our hours, I'm going to just go right on back to my, my section slide, and I'll, I'll actually do this in a, in a reasonable way. Um, so, and I'm still too early. Okay. So <laughs> Mayapack Library is mayapaclibrary.org. Putnam Valley Library is putnamvalleylibrary.org. Um, and you can contact, you can look there or call them um, and find out about their hours. But any computer that's, you know, like if you go into say Mayapack Library, because that's the one I'm most familiar with, and you go to the computers, you will not have to enter a barcode to get to job now. You'll just sit down at the computer, you'll get your pass. However, <laughs> like, there's a procedure, but I'm not gonna go into that right now. But once you, once you get to the computer, um, you'll be able to just go to job now. And again, the way I did it was just on the Mid Hudson site. I will show you because I have it memorized what that looks like if you're going to Mayapack Library. So if you're on, if you're at mayapaclibrary.org, um, you could either go to research here or research here. They both go to the same place. I like the little charms. They make me happy. Um, and then if you go to job and career help, you'll see our job now link from here. And so, you know, when you get to a Mayapack library computer, you'll, you'll be able to get to the Mayapack library website pretty quick by opening the internet, and then you'll just be able to pop over there. Do you think that's what we were looking for? Yeah, and um, we just had a follow up question about like, um, and I, I can take that. Um, if you don't have a Putnam library card and you come to, I'll say the Mayapack library, I'm not sure how other libraries handle it, which is why you should call ahead of time besides the COVID regulations. Um, we give out guest passes to anybody who comes up to the reference desk and asks to use a computer. So we don't ask you where you're from or anything like that. If you want to use a computer at the Mayapack library, you could come in while we're open come to the reference desk and we'll give you a guest pass to use our computer. Awesome. Okay, so. Oh, um, and then there was also, oh, I'm sorry. No, uh, good, <laughs> I like there questions. Was a, there was a question about who will be doing the career seminar in April. <gasps> okay, we're gonna hand this back to Marie. Oh, you're, you're muted. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, the question was, who will be doing the seminar? Yes. Uh, well, we have three facilitators. I'm one of the facilitators that uh, does the seminar. And we're all trained in career counseling, have our master's degrees. 
um, and have been working in the field of career development for years. Um, so that's simply the answer. <laughs> I did want to add, though, in looking at the, the job now tool, I mean, it looks like an excellent tool, um, certainly worth the trip to go to a Putnam library and, and take a look at all the resources. I'm particularly impressed with the uh, interview section because I think virtual interviewing is very challenging these days. And the fact that there's, you know, up to 12,000 questions and also you can customize your own questions and do some practice is, is excellent. Um, but for those people that are in Westchester, there are some similar tools. I don't know that we have the vi video interviewing one, but there are some similar tools in job find in terms of self-assessment, resume, interviewing. And there is a coach that has specific hours that was listed on that um, Westchester uh, library homepage. Mm, uh, let me I think see. Her name is Rebecca Mason. Yeah. So um, that, that's just some available tools too for the people that are asking from Westchester. Right. And I'm, I'm so glad you could join us because, and yeah, so it's Rebecca Mason or Mazin. Yes. And there, the email address is jobsearchcoach at wlsmail.org. Right. And she does practice interviewing, I know, um, and help with resumes, et cetera. Awesome. So I'm just taking a look at the optimal resume again, just so you can see where that practice interview stuff is. Because that that one is was not like the easiest to navigate. So I'm glad we do have a little extra time to, to take a look at it. So this is what you get when you sign in. And so I am going to click on browse interviews. And then you can see we have a ton of stuff. And it like goes to 102 pages. So um, if you're searching for something specific and I did see dental. So I know I'm going to get a hit there. So, um, yep. Dental school interviews, dental hygienists, pre-screening. And I did like that. It talks about pre-screening interviews. It talks about behavioral interviewing, um, and all of these different things that are looking for different aspects of your personality. Like, you know, are you a good fit for the organization? Do you have the skills that they're looking for. So let's open up this pre-screening interview. And if my volume is really loud, I apologize because I don't, I don't know what we're going to get here in terms of my volume, but. Yeah, we don't hear it. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Describe for me the typical, <laughs> the typical work day of a dental hygienist. So, and then you click on the question coaching and you'll actually have some tips on how that works. And you can actually add these into an interview as well. So, you know, this, this is kind of the best way to like, just find out every question. Like I've looked at like the hundred most asked questions but that they do have career specific questions is a really fantastic benefit of this. And it's, I think it's always that guy. So I was, <laughs> I've, I've looked at a few of the questions and it seems to always be that guy. So we have about 10 minutes left and um, how are we doing for questions? Okay, um, we got another question about um, home use for um, job now. So yeah, I've been following up, but um, basically if you have a Putnam library card, you can use it at home. But if you do not have a, lot, a library card from Putnam County, you need to go to a Putnam County library to use it. Right. Okay. okay. Well done, perfect. <laughs> Um, like, of course, I'm trying to find my slide and again, I'm tired. Okay. Yeah. So this is login information is only if you have 
home access. Like if you go into any one of the libraries, and again, as Emily like very helpfully pointed out, all the libraries might have different policies, especially right now during during the pandemic. So um, double check with them. Mayapac Library does offer guest passes, so you can just like breeze right in anytime the library is open, and you know go to the reference desk, and they'll walk you through that. But you will not get this sign-in page if you are at the library. It will just push you right on through to job now. And now I'm, I'm doing my question dance. <laughs> Just making sure I haven't missed any. Oh, awesome. I think I got everything so far. Can I mention my class since we're waiting? I <laughs> wish you would. <laughs> okay. Um, so two weeks from today on March 16th at 6 p.m., so the same time, same day of the week, um, I'm going to be hosting a class um, called Course Coursera for Job Seekers in New York. Um, Amy is helpfully going to our website. <laughs> so <I'm, laughs> oh, here it is. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm no, going to go be ahead. going over the, um, the Department of Labor for New York State is offering a service for job seekers in New York where they can use Coursera for free to take specific classes. So I'll be going over how to sign up for Coursera for New Yorkers and um, what, what the system looks like, and also um, a couple of resources you can use to help decide which classes you should be taking. And I'm looking on Monday, very helpfully. <laughs> uh, like, why am I not seeing it? Um, so what I did, and this is for May Impact Library, um, and I just want to give a shout out. I don't know if uh, Francisco is with us right now. Um, again, Zoom like a seance, um, but Francisco at uh, the Field Library in Peekskill has been uh, very. I'm, I'm, Are you well, here? Francisco's here. Yeah, Yay! I'm here. <laughs> Francisco is with us. So I just can't. I can't turn on my video because my the Your device video I'm is using on. has a really bad camera. So I just wanted to. I was hoping I could also plug an additional. This isn't part of the employment counseling series, but it is a job. It is a career search. Um, Go for it. So to everyone who's listening, um, the Field Library, in partnership with the Woodbury Public Library, um, we're actually offering a, a, a Grow with Google, um, searching using Google, using Google resources for a career, set, career search and job, and job search and also how to use um, Google Docs and things like that. We're gonna be having that program on sat this Saturday, March the 6th at 11 a.m. Um, you can actually register through peakskill.org or you can register through the Peakskill, the, the Peakskill Facebook. So if you go to peakskill.org, um, if you go to March the 6th on Saturday, March 6th, yep. It's called right there, Job Seeker Career Counseling Grow with Google. This is a, this is a, a, a complimentary program um, it's not part of the employment counseling series offered by the Putnam County Libraries. However, it is an additional program that you that uh, that that uh, you can join and sign up for. It's free. It's open to anybody. Um, we'll be learning. Um, we're going to be jumpstarting our career search with Google, as um, Amy has pointed out. Awesome. And I just want to say thank you to Amy and to Emily, as well as the Putnam County Library Association, for allowing the Peekskill Field Library to join in on this exciting series. Thank you so much, Francisco. Okay, You're very and welcome. Just to show you how to register, I mean, all of you registered, so like, thanks so much. Um, so you probably have an idea, but just in case um, you're gonna go to events or programs and events or events and then full program calendar, I'm just gonna hit here. Um, and as Emily was saying, it's two weeks from today, which is not a Monday. So <laughs> this is the, the listing for it. I'm just gonna hit register so you can see how that works. And you're just gonna type in all of your information and continue. And then, you know, you'll get like one follow-up question and then you'll be good to go. And um, you'll 
have all of our wonderful contacts about, you know, the link and reminders and all that fun stuff. So I think, I think we might be good. Did we get any other questions? No, it doesn't look like we got anything else. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go back and I'll get my, my end slide out. Just this is all of the information to reach me. Um, a Shapiro at Mayapak library.org. There is a C in there. I always recommend the easier one is ask us, which will go to the reference staff and they are wonderfully helpful. Or if you have direct questions for me, you're welcome to, to go to the A Shapiro. But if you're having any trouble, ask us is there too. And my phone number is 845-628-2009, extension 152. And I am unfortunately still, still remote, but that rings through to a library cell phone that I have here. So um, just give me a call. All righty. So we're getting out of class three minutes early, guys. Thank you so much for coming. And I'm going to end the session. Have a great night, everybody.